and this project will model a plastic switch plate. And through this project we can explore the hole feature and the shell feature. I'll start a new part studio and this is in inches, English measurement. Uh, I'll start a new sketch and place this on the front sketch plane. The shape of my switch plate I'll use a, a center point rectangle. I want to snap this coincident to the origin on the front sketch plane. The height is 5 and the width is 3.875 and that establishes my shape. I'll accept this sketch, isometric, and use the extrude tool. This is an extrusion of a distance of 0 0.375 And I'll go ahead and accept that. Now around the outside edge we have a fillet so I'll use my fillet tool. I'm going to set the fillet radius at quarter inch or 0.25. Tangent propagation is turned on so when I come over you'll see that it will choose all four contiguous edges around the outside for the fillet and I will accept that. Now, this is hollowed out or shelled so that uh, I'll be removing the material. I'm going to use a shell feature and it's already set with a thickness of the remaining material at one tenth of an inch. So I will click on the back side, that's the side I want the material removed from, and it leaves one tenth of an inch of material for my plate. I'll accept this. Next I'm going to create a sketch on the front of the plate and I will include information for the the square or the rectangular hole for the switch. This is has a height of 1.125 and a width of 0.5 And I also need a location for my holes, for the screw holes. I'll use a point. I want this to be coincident to the origin. It's going to be somewhere up in here. I'll use a dimension. It's going to be from the point to this top edge is going to be 0.75. and I want this relationship to main, remain consistent so I'm going to put a center line that I can use for a mirror and mirror this hole to the bottom and now I'm ready to accept this sketch and first I will cut using this profile for the rectangular hole. This is going to remove material. I want this to go through all and I'll accept that. Next I'm going to use my hole feature. Now this is a placed hole and in this case it's going to be a countersunk hole and it's going to be an ANSI standard size hole. It's a number six screw that fits in there. ANSI stands for American National Standard Institute. And from the drop down, I can pick a number six screw. And the specifications for the countersink are given. So this is a standard screw. Now I can't see the screw holes here, so I need to go over and turn the sketch back on so that I can see those hole points that I put on. So here and here. And that creates that counter sink and the center hole for the number six screws. I'll accept that. And 
then my plate is finished. Now if I want to look at the profile of those holes, I could go down here and turn on a section view, use this right section, and view normal to the sketch plane, and you can see the profile of the countersunk screw that we just put in. I'm going to turn the uh, sketch off and I'm done.